Hey guys and welcome back to the last video of this series In the last video it all started when I had inspiration of temples and architecture And I started searching We got that photo And then this photo started moving our brain to open this window And add something on top of the clouds Until we filled it with that photo And then we had to add a scale element to this photo To make it look like that this gate is huge and monumental We added our scale element And finally we started searching for light beams We got two light beams The one that I wanted at the start And another one which looked really interesting So I renamed the layer to make it easier for us We have the temple, the mountain at the back We have this light beam, that light beam And the two models we are gonna use so let's start by understanding how to balance two photos together in order to balance two photos together you need to keep in mind two main things the brightness levels and the colors and the colors dive into two points which are the hue and the saturation okay let's start by the brightness levels some people will have difficulty in telling which one is brighter this one or that one so if you're having this difficulty a very easy technique is standing on top of everything opening your adjustment layers adding a black and white layer on top of everything and now everything is in black and white so now we'll only see brightness levels so we need to darken the background just a little bit or brighten the temple okay i'll start by brightening the temple by adding a Curves adjustment layer on top of it I'm gonna make sure it's linked below So it only has the effect on the temple These are the dark points These are the bright points Let's pull the dark points a little bit up And let's from the middle point Brighten it up just a little bit And I guess now If you open and close the black and white they are balanced in the levels of brightness the second thing we need to fix is the color which is hue and saturation okay by just looking at these two i see this one is more bluish and purplish while this one is more reddish and yellowish so in order to fix that i'm gonna stand on the temple i'm gonna add a new adjustment layer a hue saturation make sure it's linked below now we have the master tab this one is targeting all the colors you see it makes it black and white but i want to only target the reds and the yellows so i'm gonna go to the yellows make sure i'm on the yellows and just reduce the saturation of the yellows and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a color balance adjustment layer to add the colors that i want in this case i want to make it like the background back there so i'm gonna add some blues a little bit of magenta and if it's too reddish, the opposite of red is cyan. So I'm going to add cyan to get rid of the red. Maybe more blue to be the same as this one. And now I guess they are almost perfectly balanced. We're still going to fix it even more at the end. So now we balance this one with that one. In two things, the brightness levels and the colors. So now we need to balance our models to the photo to see how they are gonna look like. The first thing is the brightness levels. So the model I believe she's inside that big thing. So she needs to be a little bit darker than she is now. So I'm gonna add a brightness contrast layer. Make sure it's linked below. And I'm just gonna darken her just a little bit. Okay. And to balance the blues, I'm gonna add a color balance layer. Make sure she's linked to the model and add some blue some cyan some magenta to the photo to blend this photo even better we need to create shadows opposite to the two light directions we're having so i'm gonna duplicate this layer two times by pressing ctrl j i'm gonna convert it to smart object then i'm gonna stand on the first shadow ctrl t hold ctrl and just drag it till it's opposite of the sun direction we have here on the on the front make sure it's on her feet and to fix this one what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to edit puppet warp i'm gonna add my anchor points and i'm gonna pull this leg until it's matching the other leg also i need to fix this one now I need this to be completely dark. This is where I'll go to image adjustments curves and I'll just pull the white points all the way down till it's completely black. Okay, now a very important property of shadows is that 
they are blurred so I'm gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm gonna blur the shadows just a little bit another property is that shadows are always faded when they are go further away from the subject so I'm gonna take a gradient and I'm just gonna fade the shadow from the end also you can reduce the opacity so it looks more realistic let's jump to the second shadow let's do the same make it completely black by going to curves make it completely black let's control T to free transform it and let's put it opposite to the light direction we're gonna have here something like that and edit puppet warp to make sure it's perfectly matching the feet then I'm gonna go to filter I'm gonna add the same Gaussian blur we added the last time and I'm gonna add a layer mask go to the gradient also erase it from that side and again I'm gonna lower the opacity in this case this one is gonna be even lower because the lights coming from here is gonna be less exposure than the other one one last thing I do for very realistic shadows is creating a new layer let's call it shadow feet and I take my brush make sure it's black brush and I'll zoom in I'll make this brush match her feet something like that and I'll just add a click I'll make the other one matching the other feet like that and I'll just do a click and erase anything which is in front of the leg and then lower the opacity because the part below the feet should be the darkest so this is our first model let's group her together one last thing I want to have control of in this photo which is the color of her dress so I'm gonna add hue saturation layer link it below make it target the magentas because this dress is magenta and now I can choose whatever color I want in this case we have some bluish uh, purplish colors which are here I'm gonna choose something opposite to them which is yellow orange so she pops out in the image so something like that I guess is gonna be really popping out okay so I did the exact same thing with the other model adding the shadows and adjusting the color and the brightness of her and then I also took control of the bottom part of her dress it was all completely white so only the bottom part of her dress I added a color fill layer with multiply so that I can choose whatever color I want and I somehow liked that color here the cyan color now we can always go back and choose which one you like more I guess I like this one more she has more movement into the photo it's more artistic and beautiful now it's time to add our light beams let's go with this one that I wanted to add I'm gonna make sure it's somewhere here this is the source of the light and it's pointing all the way outside and I'm gonna change it to screen blending mode and this is not the colors I want actually I wanted to have more of warm colors like we have in the environment not some cyan color so I'm gonna go to image adjustments hue and saturation and I'm gonna press the colorize button so what the colorize does it gives me the ability to make it all one color which I want in this case this is red I want it more orange something like that is really good so this is the light we added let's lower the opacity a little bit okay now since we balance the brightness levels and the colors of the whole image together it's time to make it even balance more by adding layers on top of everything to balance things more the first balance I'm gonna do is another brightness balance now you have to stand on top of everything you have add a curves adjustment layer so I'm gonna start by taking the black point and pulling it a little bit up so I don't lose any details when I darken things out then I'm gonna take the shadows I'm gonna make them a bit darker then I'm gonna take my highlights and I'm gonna make them a bit brighter doing my S curve and I don't want to lose some details in burnt out highlights so I'm gonna pull this one just a little bit down so this is how the curves looked like it, as you can see it blended everything together one last thing to add color on top of everything is by using the photo filter you double click the filter and you start going down with your keyboard until you find the filter that you like the most 
in this case i like the violet let's see how it looks like this is the violet and you can always lower the opacity if it's too strong and i guess i'm done with my last video in the adobe stock series i hope you enjoyed the hustling i hope you learned something new while being entertained and i want you to always remember photoshop hustler is not a person it's an idea an idea of freedom of creating anything you want using the power of photoshop combined with stock images so I'm really excited to know what you will be able to do after watching this series and see you next time.